Now today you're going to be hearing from women who are making a big impact on the world and they come from all different backgrounds and occupations. Of course, the first one we're going to hear from is the woman who holds the highest office in our province, Premier Christy Clark. She leads a team that manages, oh, give or take about $40 billion a year and she sets the course for about four and a half million British Columbians. On top of all that, she's a single mom too. <laughs> okay. She's gonna explain all about it, how she does that. Now, <laughs> she's laughing right now. You also are going to meet today a woman who regularly flies to Africa to improve the health of women and children living with HIV AIDS. And we'll hear from a mom who is one of the pioneers of the health food movement who helped put Vancouver on the map in that business. Now, all of these moms are not just doing great things in spite of being moms, they're doing them because they have been inspired to do them as moms. And it's our hope that today you will all be inspired here as well. Now, I wanted to recognize some special guests we have with us here today. Um, first of all, the Honorable Moira Stilwell, the Minister of Social Development, and right over there, Moira, she's, uh, thank you for joining us. And Moira's the MLA for Vancouver Langara and the mom of three children, by the way. I also want to recognize MLA for Vancouver Falls Creek, Mary McNeil. Hello, Mary. Hi. And Mary has, is it five kids? Or four? Four. four. Okay, sir. Thirteen grandchildren. <laughs> okay, lucky you. Very lucky lady. My name is Pamela Martin, by the way, and I'm really delighted to be here with you for the whole day as your MC. You probably know me as someone who anchored newscasts for about 35 years on daily television in Vancouver. And I know it's probably hard for most of you, judging by how young you all are, to imagine a time when there were no women in broadcast television, but or in the news anyway, but it's actually how things were. And I want to tell you that I am old enough to be a, sort of a trailblazer, I guess, in that sense, for BC uh, women in broadcasting, because every job I ever had, I was either the first or the second woman to ever get that job. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> I also became a mom during the probably most challenging years of my career, and for nine years I was a single mom, working full-time. And I should tell you that back in those days, the olden days, when you worked and you became a mother, you didn't really talk about it very much. It wasn't something you necessarily wanted people to know about, because there was a lot of pressure on women to be able to just do it all, quietly do it all, just be a superwoman. Well, thank God we killed the superwoman because it really was not possible for anyone to do that. And I actually think that there's a lot more acceptance today and understanding that we need to create new ways for moms and for dads too to combine meaningful work and raising children. And I think that probably many of you are at the forefront of making that happening, uh, making that happen, of inventing new ways of working and, and having a family at the same time. I know it's not easy, it probably never will be, but maybe today we're gonna to be hearing so many different stories from inspiring women. We'll find out about new ways new, to approach our own situation. So, today's event is hosted by VancouverMom.ca, Entrepreneur Mom Now, Vancouver, and Modern Mama. And I would like to invite a remarkable woman who I've gotten to know recently on up here, Christine Pilkington of Vancouver Mom. Would you please come up and say a few words? Uh, well, thanks everybody for coming today. I just thought I'd start by asking you what, what you had what you have dreamed for your kids, what, you, what do you want your kids to be when they grow up? It's one of these questions that we all know, well, we might know when, as soon as that kid comes out and we're mothers, even before that you might have these dreams when you're a kid. And maybe it's a doctor, it could be a politician, it could be a lawyer, a teacher, a writer, an artist, um, or it might be something a little bit more 
uh, like about their character. So it could be something like you want them to be a great friend, you want them to be somebody people can admire, somebody people can trust and count on. So my next question to you is, are you the type of person you want your kids to be? And it's a tough question because we suffer from so much mom guilt, mom guilt, mom guilt. And, um, and also between like the diaper changes, the peanut butter and jam sandwiches, and the Girl Guide cookies that you have to sell. Speaking of which, I am selling them today. <laughs> I actually have a case with me, so I have them. Come see me at the break. Thought I'd put that plug in there. Um, between all of that, um, there's, we got a lot of stuff to do. And it's really hard sometimes to remember that it really does start with you. Like if you want to create whatever you create for your children, if you want that future for them, you really need to be a leader for them. And so when I was sitting and talking with Connie Peters from Modern Mama and uh, Nicole Kristen, who unfortunately could not make it today, um, from Entrepreneur Mom Now, we were wanting to design a day, what would that look like for our three organizations to come together? And really what we wanted was a roster of speakers who were like no one has ever seen before. People who were making a really big difference in their communities, who um, were multidisciplined, whether it be in science, arts, fashion, culture, um, social work, you know, whatever that is, so that we could all just really showcase the achievements of these women. And so if you leave here today looking at the world a, different, a bit differently, with a different perspective, a little bit more inspired to make these little changes in your life for your everyday, then that to me is a very, very successful day. So without further ado, I will hand it back to Pamela and we'll get started for the day. Thanks.